this is Mr. Coker with with geometry lesson 31 trig ratios so in this video I'm going to talk about finding the ratios the trig ratios trigonometric ratios with sine cosine and tangent this looks complicated seeing sine equals O over H cosine equals A over H and tangent equals O over A. That might look complicated. It's not. It's not. What did it, um, when we're talking about the trig ratios, by the way, to begin with, I'm going to use this one triangle with these three sides that I have marked and I'm, I'm going to find A on every one of these just for consistency. It will typically it will tell you which uh, what you're finding sine, cosine, and tangent of. It'll tell you which angle, and it will tell you um, which trig function. And for all three of these, I'm going to use the same example. I picked the three, the simplest three, four, five right triangle and I'm going to stick with A to avoid confusion. I'm going to start with sine of A. Sine. By the way, these are always abbreviated on your calculator with the first three letters. And that's how I'm writing it because that's how it's going to look on your calculator. So sine is always O over H. So we have to determine what is O and which side is O and which side is H. Well, this red marker will come in handy because it's going to, it's about to tell you. O stands for opposite. That is the side across from your angle that you're finding the sign of the measurement of. A stands for adjacent. And I did have to pause a minute to remember how to spell it. Adjacent means next to. So it's just a long word for saying next to or beside. That is the leg beside your angle. Opposite is the leg opposite your angle. It's not connected to it. Third, H is hypotenuse. By the way, the spelling of hypotenuse, don't take that as like the true spelling. If you're watching this video, you have access to the internet. You can check to see if I spelled that correctly. I probably didn't, but hey, it's okay. As you're going to shorten it just because you've seen it. And if I'm watching, when I'm, when I'm re-watching the video and checking it, if I have a misspelled word up there the whole time, it's just going to drive me crazy. Okay, back to the task at hand. Finding which side is opposite, which side is adjacent, which side is the hypotenuse. Remember, I'm using A for each example. It, it depends on which, on which angle we're finding. On which angle we're finding this measurement of. I'm sticking with A every time. I'm going to start always by marking the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side and it is opposite the right angle. So you'll always have a right angle with a right triangle. And the two legs are the sides that are connected to the right angle, that come out of the right angle. The hypotenuse is the other side. I always start by marking that as an H. Next, adjacent. Adjacent means next to. Well, which of the other two sides is next to A? Of course, it's the side of 3. 
that is your adjacent. And now opposite is the, well, we have one side left over. It's the side not touching, not connected to angle A. That is our, our opposite. Those three pieces of information are done. The rest is easy. Because it's a formula. You just plug in two numbers. So sine, we want opposite over hypotenuse. We want to see what is sine is the opposite. It's 4. What is hypotenuse? It's 5. 4 over 5, you're just putting in 4 divided by 5, which is 0 0.8. Put that in a calculator. It's easy. Next, I'll do cosine. Cosine this time, that is A over H. Well, what's A? A is 3. H is 5. I do 3 over 5. It equal, put that in a calculator, 3 divided by 5, or just put 3 over 5 as a fraction and hit change, 0 0.6. And the last one is tangent. Now, tangent is the one that does not use the uh, hypotenuse. But that's just fine. Tangent equals O over A, opposite over adjacent. Well, our opposite is 4 and our adjacent is 3. Again, put it in a calculator if you need to. We'll get 1.3 repeating. And that is the trick function. Or the trig ratio. Now, well, uh, I'll make some more videos that deal with trig with other applications of trig functions. None of them are very difficult. I want you to make that clear. But this is the easiest one of all. You just have to know these three formulas, and you need to know which is hypotenuse, which is adjacent, and which is opposite. Once you get those down, the rest is easy. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.